Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back into the world of Valheim. Today, we're going to be working on the base defense. The base defense. Whoop. What was that? Sorry. Oh. Oh. Yes, I've added lots of storage to the new house. I was going back and forth for maybe an hour with this cart. And, oh, I still left some things in there. I'll sort that out soon. And we went back and forth, I don't know, maybe four times, back from the old base to the new base. You remember me building this last time. And then I called it a day because I was just burnt out. But <laughs> today we're going to be working on the defense around it. So what I would like to do is first I need to put these wood things going all the way back across. But we're going to start a moat. A moat going all the way around. Obviously it's going to be an empty moat because we can't actually pour water in the game. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. And then on the outside, on the inside of the moat, there will be uh, those walls. These uh, big stake walls. So let's get right into that. I'm going to start by just clearing up the ground that's around here. I've also got the Elders trophy uh, activated. We did that earlier off camera. Yeah, I haven't made the workstation areas yet. I haven't done anything upstairs really. I've just been sleeping in here. Yeah, so I've just moved everything into these chests. I got my heads and stuff in there. Materials for like upgrading and whatnot. We got wood, we got stone, and then we've got coal and flint. Then we've got the metals that I have, and then we've got lots of different food and like the, well not lots of different food, we've got some food. So yeah, that's basically everything that I've done. So now that you're all caught up, let's get working on that moat. So we need to make first a, a forge because um, my pickaxe will keep breaking and I think you need, I just need a forge anyway. Here we go, we've got the forge now. So I'm not exactly too sure how I want to lay this out for like crafting, but for now this is fine. So we'll have the forge maybe over here, and I might even extend these out a little bit, but that's not what we're doing at the moment. So let's get right into this. I could actually probably craft the bronze pickaxe. Isn't there a bronze pickaxe? Bronze pickaxe. Three core wood and ten bronze. Oh, I don't have... I can make... Why have I not been making bronze? Yes, there we go. We've got the bronze pickaxe. Oh, actually, there's something that I really want to make and I totally forgot all about it. When I logged in earlier, a little pop-up came up on screen and it was something really quite cool. I think I might just pop this here for now. Is that one of my friends? I've been getting problems where Greylands keep coming in here, but they just run straight upstairs. No, I'm hearing things. I thought it was another one of my friends, but it is not. So, was it in here? Yes, the pointy hat. And I think this is because of the... There is one of my friends. I can hear you. Oh, he's all glitched out. So how do you throw this again? Oh, oh like that. Okay. Sorry, mate. Sorry about that. So, the pointy hat. We need five coal, three deer hide, bronze. We need bronze, one bronze. Okay. I don't know what what the bronze is for on a on a hat of coal. I might just have to burn some food because I don't have enough coal. But actually, I have I have the smelters, don't I? I broke the smelters down, so I could remake those, and I will. Just not yet. I'm getting too ahead of myself. I, I need to calm down. So we should have one coal left. Yes. And then there should be four. So these are cooked. I'm just going to wait for these to burn. And then we should be able to make the pointy hat. And I can't wait. There we go. We have the pointy hat. We're a proper wizard now. And I think this is because of the new update that's coming out. Or I think there's a witch or a wizard. Or is this already in the game? Somebody tell me, because I don't know how and I unlocked this. It unlocked when I logged in randomly, so I don't know how I managed to do that. But, yeah. Anyway, we're going to wear it for now, just for looks. <laughs> and if we get into a fight, we're just going to have to switch around those back to normal. Uh, pickaxe is broken. We've already done a lot, just from the one break. 
we started over in this corner. So let's just see. Yeah, okay, so we've done two sides. Two sides to it. And then, but we're gonna make it a bit wider though, because I feel like the trolls won't. They might just step over that. <laughs> I really honestly have no idea. There we go. We've broken through. This is the final stretch. And we're gonna have to just spine our man way out of that. Okay, we've we've done the full circle. I'm just gonna go around and make it a little bit wider in some areas like this looks fine but maybe around the corners yeah i'll quickly do that all right perfect i've gone around and made them all a little bit wider so this should be this should hold off pretty well i imagine right perfect it's finally stopped raining this is pretty much how i would like it but i'm thinking just to be extra because of those pesty arches. I'm going to put a bunch of these walls, these stakes going around. I might flatten this off a bit, all this area. I think that's a good idea. I might do that first. And then we're going to put loads of these walls around. Not too far up though. Because if I'm shooting arrows from up there, I still want to be able to see the enemies on the other side of the wall. So probably like around here, I might do that. I need to get the hoe back out and start flattening off some areas. I just realized actually I've got the hoe on me. <laughs> okay, so we want it the same level as the stairs, otherwise it might look a little bit, you know, off. So if we can make it super flat, that would be awesome. I'm gonna try my best here. Ah uh, yes, we have our first victim. What are you gonna do now, buddy? Huh? What are you gonna do now? Look at ya. Oh. Come here, you rascal. Come here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, it proves that it works. Alright, so I've made this whole area flat. It's probably the flattest I can get it. Pretty nice when it's all flat. Now. We are just going to put the walls across. Let me get some wood. We'll leave a gap here because there's going to be another gate there. So we have two ways inside. Looks like we have to go cut down some trees. Oh man, this is looking, <laughs> this is looking pretty cool though. Yeah, I'm loving it. Let's get some more trees. We got some that are already chopped a bit. There we go, that was the last one. That was the last one. So, what we need to try next is, let's see what it looks like from up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I just realized though the arches, uh, if I had something here, you know, just like a small wall here and there, like that could be quite handy, just to like crouch behind, one like that, and this is just to sort of duck behind if we're getting overwhelmed, you know, so that could be, that could be quite nice, it's just a little thing, you know, like, behind here quickly hide pop out bang like so what about this side we can just have one in the middle here and then it's the same on this side too isn't it if we do it like there because we could um we might be able to get sniped in here if we're just doing something. So it might be good just to have a little bit of defense right there. And then coming back inside this side. Let's do the same. It's our first victim. We're not the best archer in the world. But we will get better. Works a treat guys. It works a treat. I just did one in the middle. Oh, this is even because 
of the layout of the wall. We'll do half walls. And then it should connect like that. Yep. Perfect. So we, we can uh, make the whole thing even actually. Oh, but I kind of like that. How it blocks the doorway. And it should be the same on... I will do it on this side anyway. We haven't got a door here because of the stairs, but... Just so it matches, we'll do the same. Alright, let's quickly sleep. We'll have a look at this when it's next daytime. Alright, so I have just realized a minor problem into this situation. Which includes the cart. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna get a cart across because even if I build a bridge the trolls will smack it down or if I just lift up you know the, the ground the trolls can walk over here and smack this down so we need to build a gate a big gate well a decent looking gate I want to be able to bring this in and out just easily but the trolls they smack down everything, but I am going to still make a nice gate, but I need to get more wood yet again. So I need to put all this into the base and then use that to go get some wood with. So I'll be right back once I've collected enough wood to make the gate. <clears throat> there should be enough to make a sufficient enough gate. I just made a temporary little bridge just for me to get this over. Hopefully it will anyway. Yep, perfect. I have a design in my head for this that I think will look pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so the idea that I have for this gate is actually a really good one and I'll tell you why. So. Back in the Viking days, what they used to do is make a big gate with a hole in it, or a trapdoor sort of thing. And so when they managed to get close enough to be able to enter the door, let's say the door to the, the gate door is here, they would drop, if you've seen the Viking series, they would drop things on them. That could be oil, that could be anything. And no, we're not going to be dropping oil on the railings and and the, and the gray dwarfs for, or for, in, for instance now it's trolls <laughs> but later on it will be skeletons and whatnot but anyway going off track uh we're not going to be dropping anything but we can shoot them with an arrow so that's what we're going to try and design some sort of bridge um with two doors so if i I get my wood so we'll do that for now and then we can just break that one we probably need to break both of these actually mm -hmm. just like that and let's see so if we bring this out one there one there one there one there and then we have it like this bear with me doing this on the spot I just have a vision in, in my head we can delete that delete that don't really oh we probably did need that but that's okay okay so one part is gonna be here one part is gonna be there and then yeah okay so we do need this actually let's put it back and then we're gonna have two going across the bottom but that's only for us to put the gates. And then we can delete them. So let's delete them. Alright. So we've got the two gates. They're just straight on the floor. Because, yeah, why not? Well, it's not why not. But we need the enemies to come. They're going to be here and they're going to start smacking here. I think, anyway. I don't really know where their paths like. But if we open these. Oh, actually... I just thought, I just thought of a way better idea. Okay, so let's do one there, one there, one there, and one there. So if we open these, they will 
the the path of the you know uh, the skeletons whatnot they're gonna come in and they're gonna think oh this is the easy way in then maybe from above we'll be able to close the doors trap them in and shoot them maybe I, I don't know but I think it's a it's worth a go so now from here I'm just gonna make this look you know kind of decent actually what we God. I'm just thinking maybe we should actually make this flat and then much easier to work with. So we'll do that. Flat, flat, flat. Cool. And we don't really need those anymore, so let's just delete them. Perfect. Almost perfect. We can delete the small ones now. Don't mean to press place that one. May as well delete all the small ones. Right, guys, this is just so we can get that square perfect even. Because if we if we just placed it like this, look how it's not in the floor. It's not in the floor. Look. If you connect it to this, it's in the floor. So it'll make the door in the floor and it just works a lot better to walk on. So now we can pop those in, the bigger ones. And then pop these in. Uh, let's just pop that one. That one. Oh, I need to repair. Let's quickly repair that. We still need to upgrade like all my weight benches. But I want to get this sorted before the next raid. Hopefully, we are sorted before the next raid. It would be nice anyway. It would be a lot easier if I can do what I want to do. Well, actually, I think it's the. Is it the trolls? Or do, do the skeletons come as well? I would like to know in the old comment section if you guys have an idea about that. Need to replace those ones. Hmm. Yeah. We'll we'll keep those. You know what would be cool if these were open, right? And the skeletons are coming in here, blah blah blah, and we had little holes and we could. We could chuck in little poison grenades. I don't, uh, nah, I think that's... We can never think about it. I'll let you guys think about it in the comments. But, okay, so... Sorry if you ever hear any trucks go past, but I live next to a highway. It's my own house, but, yeah. Next to a highway, so if anyone ever asks... If, if any of you are ever wondering about a sound, that's what it is. But that's okay. We're working with it. Right. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. Okay, so this will go up another one. Then we'll feed it across. We'll have the drop zone there. Let's do that. And then we'll feed this across like that. We may as well put beams to clean it up. Have a border. And same on this side. Beams. Bring this across. And I'm putting it backwards so that it has like more texture, you know, these things that pop out. So we need a way to get up, obviously. But we might just have ladders going like sideways, like a 90 degree here. We don't need two. 
we just need one so we'll close that off now because this doesn't really doesn't really matter anymore I mean that doesn't either it's all figured out so that's cool um, and then the ladders will uh, where are they ladders so if we do ladder there that works we'll have that one and so this is the drop zone I was talking about oh we need to make sure that is covered and probably on the other side too Bang. but how do we make a drop zone that we can just walk over because once there's walls up here which I plan to make more walls we'll do that actually still begging for them to make better ladders in this game <laughs> I don't think it's oh don't want that one there I mean it's not that urgent it's not like our major plan to um trap you know mobs in here but it'll come in handy because I, I still I don't, still don't know how I'm gonna do the um the bridge yet well actually no we can just do this and then if we need to get on the other side we can just go like that I think that'll be fine yeah we'll keep it like that I think what we need here is a bit of a bit of texture on these just something to make it look less dull just like that can we have these going across there grab some more wood like that actually wait this is gonna go all the way up otherwise I'm just gonna get shot at so we need that going all the way up there so ah, oh, I mean so I'll do that and then just put two little ones there sweet let's have a look oh ah, I didn't even press jump then and this is only temporary because eventually I'm gonna make like a whole village going around this place this is just in case we get raided while we're still out doing other things mm, I think we'll just leave it like that and we'll just add a bit more on top just to make it look cooler but that's pretty much it let's just have a quick look here so yeah if we wanted to look over this we can you know bah, bah, bah. we could even place a couple small ones Ooh, we can even have it like this and then we don't have to jump anymore again really okay right so we can have it like that so when they're trapped in there we can shoot them from up here we can break these we don't need them and we'll be able to see, you know, who's coming in. Bah, bah. And then this part was for just to look over the top and shoot. If I place some more ladders like that. And then one there. We have to jump onto it, but that's fine. Would it be better to have like, like this going on? Yeah. I think so and it will look better all right cool 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 this seems okay this seems all right honestly I don't think we need anything I think we'll just enter from the front so we're gonna close this off it's a bit wonky but that's okay we'll just always enter from the front I feel like that'll be better anyway okay we need to cook some more food I might make a cauldron so the next thing I want to do here is build sort of like a bridge. I want to build a bridge going across here. And I also want to have, I also want to have spikes going across this because I noticed that when the graylings, you know, try to get us, 
they come up here and they're stuck on this edge and they just like walk along like this they walk around they follow you around so if we had spikes that would really work against like trolls or you know anything so yeah um for the bridge i don't really want it going up i just kind of want a, a small bridge like going down if we can do that but i might try to design something that looks somewhat cool um there's not too much we can do but um i'll see what i can come up with so what i've done here you can see i've just put loads of these beams going across and i have no idea if this is going to work with that looks that's definitely too high actually now that i look at it from here okay we'll try it so let's get the cart it's coming down nice and easy let's turn around let's come back up so it goes up well oh it goes up fine it goes up fine oh yes i still might fix it though just because it doesn't look like too too good whoa okay <laughs> slow down tiger so coming up oh it works just fine it works awesome but aesthetically oh it's not too bad i think i'm just overthinking we can still walk up it but this is what i was thinking here right we could have maybe on the side like this if that was going up there Something like that, so it looks like it's supporting the bridge. I think that would look cool. Um, but how do we do that with this? What does that look like? That looks pretty cool to me, I reckon. That's, that's pretty nice. Do that on the other side. And then we'll get this one in there. Yep, yeah, that looks cool. I like that. But what we do need is some sort of, you know, like side thing going across. And it's quite hard to get it right, looking nice. So, we'll quickly sleep so it's daytime. And I'll figure this out. Alright. So I've put some little pieces on the side on both sides it looks a little bit janky but i like that it looks janky it's it looks like a hanging bridge it's kind of dodgy gives it a bit of you know history or whatever and then we've got this little archway but overall it's kind of cool the the cart goes up and down it'll do the trick now f i'm gonna f put bushes going all the, or like grass going all the way around there uh, because i don't like the dirt and then here we're going to put some spikes or, or something, you know, to prevent them from just chilling there. Perfect. So all this is now grass, pretty much. Let's run outside so I can show you properly. So this is all grass around my little island sort of thing. I've added these doors here for one reason. When we get a raid, because obviously this is all connected. So the paths of the enemies are still going to come here. But they're first going to start attacking this. If I can close this when there's a raid. And this is more for like later on when there's skeletons and things that are going to like overrun me. Um, the trolls are not too bad. I can run out and just arrow them. But later on. So if I can close these gates. I'm hoping they attack there and they don't try to make their way over the, these little parts. Because if they do that. And I have those clothes. Obviously I'll have these clothes as well. But then I can just you know get up here and do a bit of sniping so um, hopefully that works out if it doesn't we're always gonna you know close uh, not those ones we're gonna close these ones and then we've got a little trapdoor thing and um, I think this is fairly good enough <laughs> for defense at the moment until it's not so we'll see how that goes Anyway, so I'm going to add in some defense now. Uh, the little spikes, I mean, that go around. Could even build a little wall. I'm not... Let's just pop another one of those down.
I think that's maybe a little too much, but this one would be nice. That's kind of cool. Doesn't really work on this side, but yeah, we can do that on that side. It's a little bit more detail, you know. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. We can't really, can't really do it on this side, can we? Yeah, it makes it look too chunky, but that looks nice. Okay, what I was gonna say with the spikes. Oh, they're core wood. We need core wood. So there's an oak tree there. That will give us some... There's a couple oak trees around. Alright, so I just chopped down an oak tree. And it does look like we need... Uh, it's not oak that gives you core wood. It is... My only guess is that it's the ones in the black forest. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> okay. So... My guess is it's the ones in the Black Forest, so we're going to have to make a trip back there. I don't know if we need the cart, maybe, but we got Black Forest right here, so we could. I might just go and see how much I can hold first. Alright, that should be enough for now. We've got two stacks. We'll start laying, layering these around. Uh, oh, we need to make a workbench nearby. So yeah, just basic, like, I'll do it like this, and then we can just work it around. I'm not going to actually have decided, I'm not going to have it going around the whole base, because this is the weak spot, right? So they're only going to attack this area. So if we just make it so, you know, this area is defended, then that's all that matters, really. Because they're going to attack here first. So, that's what I'm thinking in my head. And we'll see if it works when the next raid happens. And I might turn the raid up. I'm not sure yet. We've now got some spikes in. And this is around the main entrance. So, you know, as, as these doors are going to be closed, they're going to be attacking here. But the trolls or whatever might get snatched onto here. There's not much we can do about waiting for our raid it's just gonna happen when it happens um, but I do know that I'm ready this time we are ready this time we've got the walls we've got the moat we got all the spikes we got this bridge which they're gonna get oh but yeah we got this bridge which they can easily get sniped at if they get too close to the bridge and then if they do get right up to here, we've always got the, the trap, you know, so I think we should be pretty sweet. If it's trolls, like I said, I can run out in the field and shoot them. But when it comes to us after we do the swamp, it's going to start getting hard after that. The, the raids, you know, with those, I forgot what they're called, but those swamp guys. And then we also got skeletons and things. So that's when it gets hard. And, and that's what we're preparing for. So I'm going to call it an episode here. It wasn't much. It was just a lot of base building really. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for all the support. Subscribe if you want to see when this raid happens. Because I'm really excited to see how this holds up against it. And uh, we'll, we'll meet up again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.